Hey beautiful gypsies! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. So this is it. This is the last of the last which means tomorrow I gotta go shopping and I gotta do another mukbang, right? So tomorrow will probably be vlog day. Um, also, just wanted to say if you are not subscribed to my channel but you like me and my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become part of the Gypsy family. Also, as you may have noticed, I am wearing my newest, one of my newest, Timu wigs. Okay, so I have the one that's like a strawberry blonde colored one, which I absolutely love. So I went in and I said, let me get some more just like that. So I got the only other ones they had, which was this color and then a darker, almost blackish brown one, dark, dark brown. But I'm like, I'm going to wear this bad boy today because my hair, like, it's on its, I don't know what day, and I need to wash it. So I'm like, I got you, girl. I got you, girl. I'm putting this wig on today, and we are trying her out. And let me just say, I love it. I love it. These headband wigs, I'm getting ready to start in on my Dollar Tree haul. I just want to say, if you've been thinking about wigs, like, my favorite of all of these is the headband wigs. <coughs> Hold it. <coughs> yes. The headband wigs. Because that, that is a headband, which I could put, you know, other things on here. You know, other headbands pull them up. But <clears throat> it has Velcro on the back of this headband. And you can tighten it to where it feels secure on your head. And you can shake your head around, which I'm not gonna do too much shaking because this hair will go everywhere. But you can shake it around, you can bend over or whatever, and it's not gonna fall off, okay? It's fabulous. So it's nice and long. And what I think makes it look so real is like the ends look just a little bit like they need a trimming. You know what I'm saying? So that makes it look even more real, okay? So if you didn't know me, you wouldn't know if this was ha my hair, right? You wouldn't think, oh, she's got a wig on. I wouldn't because I feel like it has that real look to it because of those ends. So let's get started. Um, I had got a couple of these right around the beginning of summer. I just kind of stumbled up on them and the kids um, drank them all up and stuff when we had sleepovers and stuff. So it's the Fanta Cotton Candy 4 Packs for $1.25, which I felt like is a good deal. So I've got two of these. And may not see them again this year. I, it, it seems to me like these are only... A, something's leaking. My bed's wet now. Um, like these are only available in the summer. I don't know if it's just when I've been able to find them. But maybe that's kind of when they make it to the store or whatever. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, so I needed some cotton balls, so like whenever I start doing my gel nails again, which this is not the gel, this is just fingernail polish, which I'm not crazy about. Uh, when I start doing my gel nail polish, this will help with acetone nail polish, I guess, nail polish remover, to get the um, gel polish off if I need them. I just didn't have any cotton balls whatsoever, so I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, typically, I can peel them off myself. I don't know. Um... I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. And then I use these literally all the time. I love these um, for taking off nail polish. And there's just so many different little things you can do for this if you need to apply toner or, you know, um, I've been using them a lot probably because I've been out of the cotton balls. But I love these things. And uh, they last for quite a long time for me. So that's a good thing. And then I got one candle, and this one is called, does it give me a scent? Oh, man. See, I didn't get my, oh, here we go. I didn't get my glasses on. Is that, okay, hold on. All right, hold on. Let me grab my glasses. Okay, found a pair. Um, I don't know why, but as many glasses as I buy, I can never find them. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just don't know. Or, it's just such a weird thing, you know? Like, I look around, I don't see any. And I've probably owned 20 pairs. So these are, like, probably some of my oldest. Which, whatevs, they work. Um, so this is from Luminescence. Essence. It is... I don't think it's giving me a scent, honestly. It just says candle. Let me show y'all. 
Does that say anything? I don't know. I smelled them. I was just standing there smelling candles, and I'm like, I like it, so I got it. It smells like vanilla, apricot, some kind of citrus maybe. I'm not sure, but it smells really good, so I'm like, I'm going to just go ahead and grab it. Okay, and then I got a couple pieces of decor. I'm going to start with this one. Um, and I thought they're cute. If it has wooden beads on it, guys, I'm pretty much going to get it. So, this says, family is forever. And let me, I think it's twisted up a little bit here. Okay, so, I don't know. All right, so here, here's what it says. Family, and it has the cute little, you know, the, the little beads at the top. Family is forever, and this one keeps twisting, but if it's hanging on the wall, that's not going to twist around. Um, but I think it's pretty, and it has like a tassel and a bead or three at the end. So, I just think it's really cute. Really cute. So, there's that. And then I have one more piece of home decor uh, along the same lines. And I just think these are really cute. They got that country chic vibe to them, if you know what I mean. This one says home sweet home. And here's what it looks like. The beads. Home sweet home. And then the beads and the tassel. So, yeah. Those are adorable. Adorable. All right, I'm going to trash that bag because it feels wet. I don't know. Like, weird. Okay, so let me just get this out of the way. If you watched my last vlog I did, I think it was last Friday, um, I showed this sign in Dollar Tree because I love this sign. Um, <clears throat> it's Halloween. It's, it's fabulous. I love that all of the pumpkins just have a, a different vibe. You know, it's not the jack-o'-lantern vibe. Um, it's just like polka dots, stripes, and argyle. I don't know. Whatever that is. Um, I think it's fabulous. It has a lot of black and gold glitter. It's gorgeous. I love it. I absolutely... Look how big it is, guys. Can y'all see this? Like, it's huge. So, I had to get that. I love it. I love it. And then, let me just get this bag. They had these adorable things, which I do remember these from last year, and it's the little coffins, which I think are so cute. So, this one is like the multi-chrome look, and this one is like sort of a multi-chrome, but a clear. So, I love them both. Um, I started to get them to put like boxes together for the grandkids. For Halloween, like for when they come trick or treating, I could just drop a box filled with goodies in there. But I just, I just, I never know what to do. I just never really know what to do. So I just bought one of each just for decor purposes because they are pretty fabulous. Um, I could like fill one up with Werther's and send it to my hubby's work or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing. Um, sometimes I just have to think on stuff and then an idea comes to me. Usually when I'm telling you guys, but not today. Okay, guys. So, I saw this, and I absolutely love it. Like, I am loving the bat in this one. And anything with a bat on it this year, I feel like from year to year, my taste, not my taste buds, but my taste changes from different things. Like, I love the bat. I love the realistic look. Can you see it? Look at that mouth. Man, he is ready to bite somebody's throat. So, we got the bat. It says, Happy Halloween. And then we have the potion bottle, the spider, and the pumpkin. So, I just think it's absolutely adorbs. So, I had to grab that. And then they had some different fall plates, which I've told you guys before. A lot of times, I'll plate up food over on Instagram. But most of the time, I fail to put them on my cute little plates so before i can remember and get to it the plates are gone so i really can't use that instagram thing for a, a, an excuse on buying three packs of paper plates because they were cute but if you're not following me on instagram it's twisted gypsy 32 and you might see one of these plates i'm not sure um, but i love them and if you guys know me any at all you know if it has a, a blue pumpkin on it i'm gonna grab it because I love it. I looked for the napkins for these. I didn't see them, 
but that doesn't mean they're not there. So I'll keep looking for the napkins, but I just love the whole fall theme look to that. And then they have these, which I feel like is a little bit daintier. I didn't get napkins to any of these, I'm pretty sure. So there's that one. And then last but not least, definitely, oh my gosh, this one give, gives me the warm fuzzies in my stomach. Stummy? Okay, we're officially calling it Stummy from here on out, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, the warm fuzzies, okay? So, look at it. Like, doesn't it? It just gives me that vibe, that fall time vibe, and I love it. So, just the fall colors. Oh, and let me just say, they are starting to turn around here, and ooh, I love it. it it's just great. Um, I bought this set of bungee cords, and this is a weird reason to buy bungee cords, but I know a while back, guys, I hauled a visor lighted mirror for my Jeep from Timu, and I put the, the string, or what they gave little rubber things to put on there and wrap it around your visor. I put them on the next day, uh, my visor was laying in my seat, and those were broken, I don't know if it was just from stretching all night like that or what, or the sun hitting. I don't know. So then I got really heavy duty rubber bands and it kept it up there for a while, but it, they, they broke. So I'm like, I bet you um, these bad boys won't break. So basically it's this bungee cords and I'm going to use the two smallest ones which are green and i feel like those are just going to do the trick so i'm going to take these out with me when i go and fix that bad boy up because i love that lighted makeup mirror that thing is absolutely fabulous so if you've been thinking about that don't hesitate on timu grab that bad boy because it's really worth it okay so then we got some decor for halloween and they're just so cute. This one says Home Sweet Haunted Home, which a lot of times and throughout the years, they do use the same phrases, but they do kind of put different pictures and change things up a bit. This one right here, I love. Look at this. I absolutely love this bad boy. I think it's awesome. I love that there's a carved one here, and then there's different ones. There's even a black one, like that's pretty cool. So I got that one. And then this one right here says, have a frightfully spooky and enchanting Halloween. I love it because the Halloween's all sparkly. I love the word enchanting. And I just love the whole moon and bats and the night sky and the spider web. I think it's fabulous. So, and here's the, how they look in the back, just in case you're wondering, like you can set them up or you can hang them up. So whatever your vibe is, do it. And then we have this one that says happy Halloween and it's a haunted house with a Mr. Skeleton. Like he's not an ordinary skeleton. He's got a top hat and he's got a bow tie. So that automatically makes him a Mr. Skeleton, a gentleman. Right? A gentle skeleton man. A gentle skeleton. Right? Um, extinct? Uh, um, wait, wait. Distinguished? A distinguished skeleton. Okay, I can't, that's hard to say. Okay, so anyway, I love the haunted house. I love the full moon and the bats in front. And then one more. And this one says, Welcome to my fantastic crypt. So, the Fangtastic Crypt. It's got a vampire bat hanging upside down, some bats flying around, some fangs, and some sparkle, and there's always the moon. So, those are fab. And then I got this um, for Jack, because she's always trying to draw different things. She really likes to draw. And this says it's a, it's a draw with me. One, two, three. It's a Halloween themed one. And it just shows them step by step on how to draw different things. So I thought that would be perfect. Um, it shows how to do a witch's hat and a skeleton step by step. And I just feel like she could do a really good job with these. A pumpkin and a jack-o'-lantern. Different faces, um, spiders, just all kinds of cool things. For a dollar twenty-five, you know, she might get an hour's fun out of this. So worth it. 
worth it. And then I found these creatures. Ain't they cute? To put outside, you know, by the sidewalk or whatevs. I'll probably send these to Josh and Hallie um, because, I don't know, I feel like the place that I have them, they're not as visible. And also, I think that more kids, I mean, come on, we put stuff like out, like, out that look like this for our inner child, but also for kids too, right? I just feel like more kids will get to enjoy them, you know, and they're both awesome. Like that ghost, so cute. And then we have the pumpkin, so cute. There's the little solar parts, but I love these. And I feel like they had a couple more, but I'm not sure. And then I found this cup and I'm like, give me this. And it does say Day of the Dead. I did get Day of the Dead and the other, I don't even know if it's, I, I, what was it, what was it I was saying? Um, now that I forgot, hold on. Yeah, I was saying Cinco de Mayo, okay? I was totally wrong and so many of you guys let me know. I appreciate that. I will probably never get them confused again, you know? And that's how we learn by our mistakes. So, Day of the Dead, not Cinco de Mayo. And honestly, it even says Day of the Dead. So, I love this. Uh, my son will probably be the one to use this. It is a twist-on lid. I've bought these in the past, and they are pretty awesome. So, they don't leak. I, at least they have not leaked for me. Um, so I, I love, I love the little different skeletons. It reminds me of the tote bag. I guess it was the same theme. So I absolutely love it. And then this is kind of Boro, but I did get some Dawn. Um, this is just the antibacterial and I'm always needing Dawn. So boom. So boom. Um, what is this? Oh, sticky notes because um, I've got a reason for these, and it has something to do with two jars, but that's all I'm going to say. It's a two-jar thing I'm going to do, and I needed sticky notes, and I felt like I needed the bigger ones for what I need them for, so I went ahead and grabbed it. If you have any idea, drop it down in the comments. Let me see how good you are, okay? Um, and then last but not least, I have this guy. Isn't he adorbs? Okay, so he is like the witch which is, will always be my fave. Like, she's fa fantabulous. Um, but this is the skeleton, and I love the gray, creepy look of his, like, little thing, outfit. Not really outfit, but his cloak? I don't know. But I had to get him, because I feel like to balance the porch out, I need one on each side. And they do have a pumpkin, which is pretty cool. And one more, a ghost, a ghost, a white ghost, which it's not as spooky. I kind of like the spooky, you know, he's kind of spooky. Like, he looks like he's looking right into your soul, boy. Gotta watch him. Like, he's, he looked at me weird just now. I don't even know. Like, oh, uh, anyway, yeah, I got him to put on the front porch. Him and the, uh, the witch can be besties for a little while. And that is literally it, guys. That is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, so definitely let me know which item you like best. Um, I am not sure. I really love the little coffins. I think they're cool. I love this guy. Um, I don't know. I, I like the bat sign. I think they're all really cool, but, you know, in their own special way. So, definitely let me know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up as well. And, like, I was trying to do something with this hair because I was like, because, you know, this is like, this is kind of big hair. I'm just saying this before I let y'all go. Um, but I'm like, what if I took it and I, like, clipped it right here kind of behind. I mean, I'm kind of always into, like, the schoolgirl look anyway. But just, like, clipped it. You know, in a little kind of ponytailish way on each side. You know, it'll take it back away from my face a little bit and give it a cute design as well. Also, I feel like you could braid this bad boy and, you know, like have one heck of a braid, honestly, because this is some thick. I highly recommend these, guys. I highly recommend. Um, but definitely, I'm just going to do it really quick just to see. Like, I just feel like you could do so much with these wigs because they're still going to look 
because they're so full, they're still going to look real. You know what I'm saying? You can't see like what's underneath, which I'm doing a horrible job of braiding, but like, you know, look at that. Like if I braid it all the way down and this side, wouldn't that be cute? I love it. Um, I feel like, I don't think you could really put it on top of your head because, you know, your underneath part back here is going to show, which right now it's riding up a little bit. Um, but I feel like that my hair color underneath really matches it good. So it makes it look extra real. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I love it. Like the next one I try on, it'll, you know, it's, it's a, a, lot, a lot darker. So it won't look quite as natural as this one, you know, given my natural color there. Or my whatever color that is. I don't know. I, I don't forgot. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And thanks so much for subscribing to the channel. And I've got a lot more content coming from you guys. Plenty of Shein, Timu, vlogging. Um, I have another Halloween try on that I'm going to be doing in the feet in the future. Um, I have just more things planned out for you guys. Mukbangs, you know, I know a lot of you guys don't like those. Um, I also, I'm going to make a honey turmeric bomb um, within the next day or so and show you guys and go over the benefits of that like I did the oregano oil. So I hear that it's really excellent for joint pain. So if you have joint pain, you don't want to miss out on that video and that recipe because I'm super excited. I feel like it might be a little hard because it's basically taking a tablespoon and it's mainly honey and it has like other spices in it, but I am not a honey girl, okay? I like a little bit in my tea, but the taste of honey has always grossed me out. So it's going to be kind of a gross out factor for me. Uh, maybe I'll learn to love honey after this. I don't know. But I'm super excited to start that and start feeling better joint pain. Wait, better feeling an improvement on my joint pain, you know, and yeah. So anyway, guys, I know I'm, I'm blah, 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 blah today, but sorry about that. And until next time, guys, bye.